In the wake of this decision, we've heard what doctors and lawmakers have to say about the wide-reaching impact of this case. But the reality is, it's affecting IVF patients right here in Alabama right now. We at WKRG News 5 wanted to reach out and hear, to, or hear from those patients whose family plans have come to a sudden halt. And that's why, Asher Red, you sat down with four women who have put their plans on hold. Yeah, well, politics and legal jargon, jargon aside, these women say their lives would not be the same if it weren't for the IVF process. In vitro fertilization, it's all about creating life with the help of a doctor. I'm Michelle Howard and I'm 12 weeks and two days pregnant. I'm Frances Sadler. I have three IVF children, um, almost 10, 7, and 4. I'm Megan Gatos and I have a 4-year-old through IVF and then we were scheduled for our embryo transfer March 14th. I'm Katherine Trotter and I have a six-month-old baby boy from IVF. And the faces and the names of the mothers who continue to live with the treatment. It's not our choice really to have to do this. It's just how bad do you want children at that point, I feel. With UAB Hospital and Mobile Infirmary pausing their IVF treatment, some women fear their efforts to have a child may be wasted. What are you supposed to do at that point when you have already taken the medication and you are already simulating and you're preparing for an egg retrieval next week or the week after? The National Institute of Health estimates that about 9% of men and 11% of women in the United States have fertility problems. We've got to get this back so that they can get the hope back. Hope at one day building a family against the odds. It was our only option was to do IVF to have children. These mm -hmm. faces and these little babies you're looking at literally would not be there. All of the women agree that pregnancy is one of the most demanding times of a woman's life. But as for IVF pregnancy, it's an emotional roller coaster. For sure. From physical, emotional, and mental obstacles, these women say they have overcome it all. IVF treatments can cost tens of thousands of dollars, but as one mother puts it, that's a small price to pay for a life with no price tag. I was supposed to do a retrieval in March, and we paid thousands of dollars for these medications, and now I can't use them because that, my retrieval was canceled. I was actually going to ask you about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... Thankfully, they don't expire until the end of this year, but if something doesn't happen, then that was just a waste of our money. Say the medications expired, does that deter you from trying again? No, I think, I, like she said, I would give my life savings to grow our family. It's that important to me. But in the end, they have each other. Prior to our journey starting, I really had no idea how many people this affected. And then as you're in it, you're like, wow, this is, it's a lot of people. The women have started a Facebook page called Protect IVF. In an effort to show the lives created through the treatment, they're using the hashtags Bama Babies, Protect My IVF Journey, and My IVF Child. Live in the studio this evening, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5.